Yep, you want to get ready? Yeah. yeah you want to go? Yep. Go! What up, what up, what up? How's it going everybody and welcome back to another one. It is early, got up at 4.45 this morning. It is 5.07, we're sitting at 15 degrees. Yeah, 15 degrees, that's one of the warmest uh, mornings yet. Probably in the past, probably the past week. But it's still snow goose season, and your boy, you know I'm still after him. Sorry if the dirt road is, is loud here. And today it's going to be a two-man little hunt. We're going to put out all the full bodies today. We're going to sprinkle in the socks like the last hunt we did, because it worked. I loved it. We're going to sit the e-collar out there and just let her eat. But my buddy Gerald is in uh, from Arkansas. He's been in Arkansas for the last month of his life laying in a wet cold uh, layout blind in nothing but standing water and a bunch of mud and let me tell you his life has just sucked down there uh hunting these uh, snows down there they have a daily average each spread down there had a daily average of 8.3 birds and they threw everything at them that they could i mean everything it just shows you not every year is a good year we're headed to mcdonald's real quick to meet gerald and then we got to run and pick up all of our uh, evergreen limbs that we saved last time because we're going to do the same thing today. We're going to use the A-frame blind again. We're going to use them A-frames. So the blind should be gone. But we got a bunch to do. It's right at 510. I'll pick up the camera in just a bit. Wait, I'm not done talking yet. I got to tell you about the field. So this field, this field, this field I was actually going to try to wait I was going to try to save it until this weekend and when I could get a bunch of guns on it, you know, because my buddy Wade, all my other buddies, they all work 40 hour jobs. So I was going to try to save it and uh, wait till I had a, just a crew of, just a gang of guns on this thing. Well, it turns out my buddy Andy, the farmer, it's wheat and it's, it's a decent wheat field and they have been on it for a week solid and they're just eating it up. So that's a big thing right now these snow geese are piled up in kansas and they are on wheat every day and the reason why they're on wheat every day all day is because it's the only thing that they can find to eat we have a good old ice and uh, snow layer on these fields and you know the seeds corn fields bean fields when you get snow on top of them they can't find that food it's, it's usually going to be frozen on top of the soil so the wheat they can just pluck it right off the top so it's easy eating so they are just destroying these wheat fields here in central Kansas. And I mean destroying. You should see them. You'll look, uh, when you're up on an overpass and you can see one of them looking down on it, or even a drone view, I mean, you can just see a big old bare spot in the middle of it. These farmers are suffering. I mean, honestly suffering because these birds are coming through and just wiping out their crop, their wheat crop. So we're going to give my buddy uh, Andy a, a big hand today and get these birds off. But there is a ton of birds there. It's one of the mother roosts of the area. So two-man hunt should get pretty darn interesting. Here they are, boys. You call the shot, Bubba. Uh-oh, get ready, boys. Oh, goodness, boys. Here they is. Here they be, right here. You tell me when you want to shoot. You call it. It's all right. They're going to get low in front. Yep, yep. Come on, baby. Bring that body up bottom over here. Yep, you want to get ready? Yeah. You want to go? Yep. Go! There we go. One, two. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Well, I th oh, one, two, three, four, five, another one fell. Boom, he did. Five or six on the ground total. Another one. <laughs> yeah, buddy. They came. They came right to this bad boy. That was nice. So, uh, where'd this one come from? What? Oh, she's that right at the blind? The oh, that was that first one I shot. I think one? I shot him. I didn't see him at all. Yeah, I didn't see him fall right there. Hell yeah, boys. Feel my fingers. I can't feel my hands are gone. Well, that worked. Uh, they came right to it, boy. Uh, we had to take them on that first pass. That's the thing this year. You got to go on the first pass. There's no waiting for them to go feet down and stuff. You got to take them. Oh, look at that guy. He is a beaut. Heel. Come here. That's a mounter. Goodness, he's a beaut. 
Got some good looking old birds on the ground already. It's shooting like, what is it, like 710? Right at 710. I mean, they're not waiting to get off the water at all. Yesterday they were in the field by 7, so we knew that they were going to be up early. We were supposed to have some decent cloud cover, but as you can see, the sun is a shining. We're looking right into it too, so if the GoPro gets all glared at them, I'm sorry, can't do nothing about it. That's going to be a long retrieve there. Heel. 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 Oh, Heel. happy boy. Heel. He says, Dad, we've been in Arkansas, Heel. freezing our bunions off, laying in the water. Heel. This is what he's talking about. Poor Archer and Gerald, man. They've been sitting in Arkansas mud for 30 days straight. They haven't, that, like Gerald just said, that's the best decoy bird all snow goose season for them. Arkansas, it was a bust this year. It was a botch. They had a, they struggled, man. I felt, I put my heart out there for a lot of those uh, Arkansas guys, man. All you guys out there, y'all busted your butts for little reward. I really, uh, really feel for y'all. But that was the first group uh, to come. They loved it. Uh, there should be a bunch more coming. We're gonna pick these birds up, see how many we got on the ground. And, Golly, here's another beautiful blue. Show his belly. Wow, what a beaut. Nice bird. Already got down a few just beautiful blues. Check this one out over here. Look at this guy though. What a beast. My goodness, he's pretty. That's a pretty adult blue right there. What a beaut. Oh yeah, we can shoot them though. They come straight over. Oh yeah. Got a bl two blues in there. You want to try yeah, yak them. Oh, one. I thought that other blue was going to go down too. One's one's not bad for a 65-yard shot. Woo! Well, that wasn't bad. That was a 65-yard shot, but you know what? They weren't going to do it any better than that. And like a lot of you know, I've said it. There's been some comments in the last video. There's some of you asking, "Hey, man, why don't you let these birds land?" Guys, if you've never snow goose hunted, that's just it. You've never snow goose hunted. These things, you got to take your shots. When they come over your spread, when they're over the blind, you got to shoot it. Don't matter if they're 60 yards, you try them. Oh, goodness. Well, the roost just lifted, and they are getting here extraordinarily fast. Woo! They are getting here quick. Goodness. Look at this. Wow. That's a bunch. <laughs> You're getting antsy in your pantsy? Here they come. They're going to do it. Got to put this camera down. Here we go. Big group. This is the big, 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 big group. Holy smokes, you say, I don't know when we should take them, but god dang. Holy smokes. Well, there's only two of us now. Jordan had to go to work. So, uh, we're going to see what we can do. Wow. There's some lessers in there. See them? Yeah, they're in the back. Yep. This will be what we shoot into. Here they come. This might be it. Damn, they're going to come over the top low. Maybe. Sheesh. Oh man, they're working us. They're just going back and forth from the field behind us. Well, we haven't shot in a while. The first first group that's came back since the last big volley here. Kind of messed up and didn't shoot and got too greedy on that big last volley that came. Oh yeah, I want to bust him. Try it. Bust him. <laughs> well, I was ready to pull the trigger. Oh well. <laughs> I was ready to squeeze that sucker.
Here we go, here we go. We got a single, giving it up. Come on, buddy. Shoot him. I'm gonna try to keep Archer. You might have to back me up. Don't I ain't too confident to get him myself. <laughs> He's definitely coming. Oh yeah, shoot him right there. He's on your side. <laughs> Boing! That boy is a dead one right there. Well, that's the uh, that's the best commitment we've had all day, boys. That was nice. That's what I'm talking about. We were just actually talking about leaving. We're like, yeah, we might have to leave here soon. If they, if we have singles like that. I'll stay all day. Oh yeah, widgeons. Two widgeons, loving it. Oh my goodness, look at these widgets. Goodness. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty right there. We got two whites right in front of us, boys. Yeah, buddy. You see him? No. He's in the decoys right there. I don't see him at all. Want me to shoot him? Shoot him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Almost missed him. <laughs> I didn't even see him land. Oh. oh no! Oh, he's gonna get him. He's gotta get him. Oh, there's a chase going on. Oh, Dog and bird. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah! He literally caught him out of the air. Woo! That's a dog there. He put on the freaking wheels, dude. Old Archer. He just put on the wheels and, and got that bird. That was sweet. I wish I would have videoed that with the big camera. Well, another single down. I didn't even see him land. He landed right here. Want to try him? <laughs> yep. yep. Oh, we got the one. Oh, that was about a 60 yard shot. My goodness. Probably higher than that. <laughs> higher than that. <laughs> oh, another chase is on with the archer. Oh, boy, howdy. Back in the truck here. We're calling it quits. It's uh, right at 9.30. The only thing we've shot is a couple singles and doubles here. It is literally getting colder on us. So the wind's picking up from the southeast, and let me tell you, it was supposed to be a southwest wind, and uh, old meteorologist was wrong again. It ended up being a southeast wind. Kind of, kind of messed us up a little bit on the spread and how the birds should have been decoying earlier in the morning it was a straight south wind and then as it just crept southeast those birds didn't like sitting up close to those trees we have some trees kind of behind us to the left but all in all awesome hunt awesome little three-man hunt it was only two of us for most of the time jordan was only here on that first big volley and sorry if i'm talking weird my mouth is completely froze <laughs> i can't even talk right but awesome little hunt. I think we might have 15 on the ground, so not bad at all. Especially, we only put out 10 dozen full bodies. That's it. It was an absolute pain in the rear uh, to get those stakes in the ground this morning. Had to hammer in every one of them. I'm actually going to go invest in a uh, long drill bit for my drill after we get done here. I'm going by Home Depot, and I'm buying me a long little drill bit. I just wish we would have called the shot on that uh, second big volley that came. Me and Gerald, it was just me and him. I know we could have just tore him up, but awesome hunt. Check it out. We're driving up on the spread here. It's a little bouncy, sorry. But here's the trees. We're set up on the end right behind Gerald's truck there. Not a bad deal. Pretty easy for only putting out 10 dozen full bodies. And if you guys haven't, all of our snow goose gear is available. If you guys want to grab a hat or a face shield, I will link both of them products down in the description below. All I had was my thermal uh, thick ducks hoodie on today, and it did me good. I stayed pretty warm, not going to lie. I didn't need my Sika jacket today, and it is cold. So, these, uh, these thermal hoodies, I'm telling you, they are thick and they are warm. Well, all picked up here. Not bad. Two-man little deal. Oh, look at that. We got a steak out there I got to pick up. Look at that, though. 14 total. Not bad. Oh, Archer. You're a beast, dude. He is just... He's a muscly dude. He's been doing nothing but working in uh, in Arkansas, and he is a ripped mother doggy right there. Ripped dog. Gerald and Archer, they've been sitting in the wet swamps like I told you of Arkansas, so this is nice. I'm getting out of the wet and actually shooting some adults. He's happy. Very happy. 
Look at all the goose poop out here though. This feed is crazy. I mean, so much goose poop. Literally about, what, 300 yards in that corner right there, 500 Canada's just landed. So that just tells you how bad they want this field. This is, uh, this was one heck of a feed yesterday. Oh, man. Your boy is cold. But goodness, the wind picked up. And it was supposed to keep getting warmer throughout the day, but that wind kept picking up and it just kept getting colder and colder and colder. But awesome hunt. Started out with three guys. Jordan was only here for the first big volley that did it. We're, we actually dropped like nine, eight or nine out of that first volley. That was really good. Oh, but uh, it was a little hunt, you know. Small crew, small decoys, only 10 dozen full bodies is what we sat out. I actually was overpowering it with the sound. I actually had a bunch of sound out there because the wind kept picking up. As the wind increases, you can turn your volume up on these e-callers. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm heading straight to Home Depot, and I am picking up two drill bits for these stakes. Because I'm telling you today, that was a nightmare getting 10 dozen full bodies in the ground. Because right now it's still 25 degrees, but 25 degrees, it's the warmest it's been in seven days. So you can imagine, with the snow and the ice, this ground is like a brick. Yep, here at uh, Home Depot, like I said, time to find a drill bit. Uh, I know what I'm looking for, what type of drill bit I'm looking for. I do know, I don't know what it's called, but it's long. Well, this is what I'm wanting here, is uh, long bits, but uh, that one's 11 bucks. 11.97. This is what I'm really want. This is called an auger bit. See the top of it there. This is called an auger bit, and I'm pretty sure that's what I need. A cheap 21.97 for this bad boy. Whoo! Holy smokes! 21.97. This bad boy better last me a while. That's all I gotta say. Holy smokes! I was going to buy two because I do have two different drills so you know it could be two people drilling holes but at 21 bucks I'm only getting one. Oh man it is still windy that wind like I said earlier it's just picking up all day but many Christmas holy crow three eighths is uh, the size here three eighths drill bit and I got the auger bit it's an 18 inch ship auger bit so pretty sure that's what we need even though it cost me a fortune no one ever said hunting is cheap so if, if any of you are new to waterfowl hunting just to let you know you'll always be spending money on something you'll break something you'll need something new something got outdated it ain't no good no more you need the new the new improved i'm, I'm telling you it is uh always something you're always spending money on waterfowl hunting constantly Oh, well, back here at the house, finally. Golly, always got decoys laying all over the yard. It's like a blow out of bed of my truck, or they'll do something. There's always a decoy laying somewhere. I think the kids just drag them out of the shop. They just take them, and they play with them everywhere, and then they blow. Yeah, guys, if you're new to waterfowl hunting, you have to understand that you will always be spending money on something I can guarantee it you'll always spend money on something you'll want a new blind you'll want some new decoys you'll want to upgrade guns or ammo who knows what you'll always be spending money on something <laughs> and that being said if you're looking for a new waterfowl hoodie you know where to get it the hats the hoodies and oh boy them thermal sweats I can tell you what some of the best money you'll ever spend is on the thermal sweats I wear them on every single hunt it doesn't matter if I have my Sitka bibs on or my waders on I always 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 have on them ducks thermal sweats they're lifesavers man I'm telling you but if you want any of the ducks gear I will link it all down below I hope you guys really enjoyed this video it was a different little type of video not a lot I guess it was it was another snow goose hunt I mean I hope you guys are enjoying the snow goose hunts I'm waiting for spring to roll around we're gonna do some fishing some big old big big fish fishing i mean big fish and then we're going to get back into some magnet fishing videos but be expecting the next video we're headed to colorado so can't tell you much about it you got to stay tuned for the video just letting you guys know i'm going to pick up some new camera equipment 
right when I'm done with this video. And we're going to film some things that I've never filmed before. It should be pretty epic. But thank you all for being here yet again. If you haven't subscribed, you need to do it. And turn on them notifications, darn it. When you hit that little bell down there, it notifies you every time your boy uploads. So you won't miss a video. But again, thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.